Hey, 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 hey. Is Uncle Mad here today? Oh, they got really shaky. Jesse has just opened a straw on the table and shook the whole thing. If you can recover and don't vomit, let me continue. Big vlog today, super exciting stuff. Not really. Going to Sounds game, but it's the first time I've been in a while, so maybe it'll be some new stuff to check out at the stadium. Before I go, I'm grabbing lunch with Jesta and Nephew P. We're at Tenfold. I think we've been here several times in the last couple months, but I haven't put it on the channel yet. Not that they need a shout out. They get packed all the time. They're super busy all the time. A little light right now. We're in like midday, so it's between lunch and dinner. So, but lunch, dinner, they're usually slammed here. Great little local brewery, restaurant type place. Jessica's new favorite spot. She's here all the time. So yeah, grabbing a little late lunch here before I go meet up with my family to go to the Sounds game tonight. That's an FUP. QR code if you want to scan and see if they have anything on the menu that looks like it's up your speed. They got a little bit of everything. They got a pretty good variety here, so uh, feel free to check it out. As you know, I'm not a drinker. Here's a look over their uh, adult beverage menu, some cocktails, some special taps, and whatever that means. I don't know what taps are. Wine. I don't know anything about wine. Wine is fancy people drink. Most of the different craft beers they have available. This craft beer is that like arts and crafts. You'd like make it like uh, at summer camp maybe. And one tap room exclusive. Alright, first up we got some cauliflower wings, which are just cauliflower tossed in wing sauce. Jessica said it's barbecue sauce. I think it's buffalo sauce. I looked on the menu, it's actually just listed as wing sauce on the menu. So it might actually kind of be like a combination of both like a uh, Hooters Daytona sauce. Do you want some blue cheese on it? Oh, apple teas. I do think it's barbecue and a little buffalo or a little something with spice, so I think it's a mixture. It's good though. But I was right. Alright, food has arrived. I went with a grain bowl. Why? Parker got a little man cheeseburger there. Oh, that looks like a huge cheeseburger. That's like bigger than your whole head. And that's a good cheeseburger. Goodness gracious. And Jessica, what'd you get? I got the pulled pork. Ah, okay. Have you had that before? No. I was supposed to get sweet potato fries, but I did not. So uh, no. that's okay. Fries look good though. They are they are good. I'm gonna take one of Parker's just to get a sample. The fries are good, I can't confirm. The burgers. Is it good, baby? Nice. Alright, let's give this grain bowl a shot. Get as much of the good stuff on there as I can. More apple cheese. Rainbow's pretty good. Not that far from our house. Till next time, Tenfold. And they're hiring now if you're looking for a job. Just a, should you work there? I'm terrible at customer service. That's true. And we're back. I think there used to be stuff on the back side of the guitar, but maybe I'm wrong. Out at the van box, they still got the ping pong tables out here. Nice big connect floorboard. You can see the uh, cornhole board, so maybe they put them up. Mini golf up and running again. I don't think this was running when we were here last year. Spoke too soon. They've just shifted the cornhole boards down a level. Two Miss Valley Rods being right next to us here for NSC games back in the day. It's like a spin a carriage celebration going on right now. Let's see the merch. Hmm. Had my eye on this before the game, and I think it is now going to become mine. Yep, I'm buying this. The Spanish isn't good, but I think that says serve uh, beer and baseball. Beer, baseball. I think. Check my math. 
As always, I have a terrible track record of remembering to bring koozies to sporting events, so I will be buying one as I traditionally do at every single game. Yeah, could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure third and home, the little sports bar and restaurant that backs up the stadium has newly opened since the last time I was here. They wanted to come check it out, but I haven't got a chance at Oh, I almost dropped the phone. Got Chick-fil-A on site. I think those prices are a little bit more expensive than in the restaurant, but I could be wrong. That is a good addition here. in Tulum with Jesta. All right, now that we've bought our jersey, before we go any further, we gotta do a quick costume change. I've done this like three vlogs in a row. Apparently just I like go to games and buy a jersey every game now, but here we go. And just like that, we are now sounds appropriate. Uh, sounds had to begin with. This is like the only sounds thing I had to begin with, so now we're full body, full supporters of the Nashville sounds. Right, ladies at that concession stand, we're running it like the uh, old school bar ski, but starting out with basic hot I'm going to try to find something unique to the stadium a little bit later, but uh, coming to a baseball game, got to get a hot dog, right? Let's go hot dog for the stadium. What's so proud? Oscar Noah on the mound for Gwinnett. He of fame of having a really good start to the last Brave season before breaking his hand, punching a cooler. Good pitch. Not for the sounds, though. Tough start for Husker. Already having to have a little conversation with the catcher. Looks like we might even have some action starting in the bullpen. Dang, Manoa doesn't make it out of the first inning. Oof, rough outing for Husker. Man in black wins. That's Johnny Cash. That's Reba. Who's that one? Gotta be Dolly. Sandbox top of the night. Here's a look at the drink menu. Not a drinker, but if you are, this is some stuff you could look into getting. All right, so while I was at the band box, some kind person offered to buy me a whiskey and cola icy. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna give it a shot. <laughs> Ooh, it's refreshing. Okay, yeah, may have gone a little overkill with the food here. Got garlic fries and a prime. Got him. At the wall. Prime rib Philly cheesesteak, but it's a unique prime rib Philly cheesesteak, so gonna give it a shot. Sorry, I ate, ate way too much, but I saw way too many people walking by with ice cream, so I had to go with the helmet bowl. Oh yeah, that hits the spot tonight. Oh, that one's over there. Oh, right there. So close. 
back here. Get the line drive. It's going to take a line drive to get it on the Yanni. I actually just realized it was very similar to where my soccer seats were back in the USL days here in SLC. Boo. Sounds weird. Whoa, we got powers already. That was a fast game. That flew by. Good job, Sounds. Okay, back home from the game. Had an absolute blast. It is always a fun time going to Sounds Games at First Horizon Park. Would highly recommend that if you're visiting Nashville and need something to do on a Friday night when the fireworks are going on. It is quite the show. That was actually a really good show. I think the last time I was there, the fireworks got canceled because of wind. I think the time before that when I actually got to see the fireworks, it wasn't as good. It was a much improved fireworks show, but it's just a fun stadium to just be in, just kind of hang around, walk around eat, nosh, kind of hang out, drink, have a drink if you're a drinker. I'm not a drinker, but it's cool. It's got sight lines everywhere. It's great just kind of like to hang out there, you know, because it's one of the nice things about going to a minor league baseball game is you got a little bit of sport. You got something to watch and keep you entertained, but you don't necessarily have to be as engaged and follow it as closely as like teams or sports that you're more invested in. So sounds games at First Horizon Park get the Uncle Mad stamp of approval. I decided earlier this week and now going to a baseball game, I've even more decided I have to absolutely get to a game at Truist Park this summer to see the Braves play. It's an embarrassment to me that I have not been to the new stadium yet to the point that they built it, named it, and have since renamed it, and I still haven't been there in that time. So, got to get down there. I've got a couple weekends circled, earmarked, pinpointed as potential weekends to go, so... Hopefully that gets done this summer. No, no, not hopefully. I have to make it happen some way or another. But if you subscribe to the channel, you'll see when and if, no, not if, when it happens. So hit the subscribe button to follow along. Thanks for watching. End of vlog.